show you how to use debt boost. That's what we're going to be doing right now. My mouse. Our mouse. Good job. There. All right. So, uh, this is an example toy store. This is one of the free Webflow e commerce uh, templates that you can get. And what's cool about it, it already has uh, pre made products like a happy flower teddy bear and stuff but what if you want to add like a real-time search rather than using the uh, webflow site search you want a real-time search let me show you how to do that go here and let's just let's just create something super duper basic right so i'm going to bring in a section which holds a container and let's push this down a bit so we can see what we're doing I'm going to bring in a collection list, and this collection list is going to pull from all the products, right? And let's just do a simple grid for the products. So if you're new to Webflow and you're just learning about um, collection lists, please do not use this layout feature. It's old. Do not use it. I'm already talking with the team saying, hey, Remove that. That's the old and busted way to do it. What you want to do is leave it as rows, full width, okay? And then take your collection list, the one in the middle, and grid that. Gives you much more flexibility than layout, okay? So we're going to do it with three columns, because I added a third column right there. Let's just put, um, let's put the image so i'm going to add an image get the image from the products an image let's make sure that they're all the same size width of like 250 by 250 and it's going to be contain object fit contain all right and let's also put the name of it so we're going to put a text block and we're going to pull the name of the product okay super simple so what if you want to put like a search bar at the top and then as you're typing, just like you saw me do with Flo, uh, the Flamingo website, you see me typing and then um, you actually get what you want immediately rather than doing a, a search, rather than doing like a search and then press enter and then you have to wait for the search page to show up. So here we go. I'm going to drag in form block right above my collection list wrapper. Um, I'm going to delete the submit button, email address, and that input for it. Find a toy. Then this will be our search field. Okay. You can make that small. 550. Yeah, 350 is fine. So something like that. Okay. So this is where people are going to search. Search and give them a type in the a toy. Cool. All right. Super simple. So we got our elements set up. Now we need to connect. Uh, now we need to connect JetBoost. So let me publish this quick. All right. And so when you go to JetBoost, you can use JetBoost for free as long as you're not using a custom domain. Because when you start using custom domain, that's when you pay, right? So JetBoost is using the same type of um, payment, type of payment like uh, member stack and Webflow, okay? So use it on a free webflow.io to learn. And if you wanna go for it and pay, then turn it on. But here we go. So now I'm at JetBoost, I've signed up, I'm logged in. And I looked for my site examples dash store. I'm going to add a booster. I'm going to add a booster. And I'm going to use a real time list search. Create. Go. And now it's going to ask you hey, which collection do you want to pull from? I'm going to say products. 
it loads up all your products and it's like okay what should the search filter by okay the name that simple if i want to add more i can like description or category add as many tags as you want we're just going to go with name right now and search strategy do you want flexible or you want to be exact so i'm going to say exact and then this one which is cool i'm going to say add to url then the reason why this is cool is because if someone goes to your website and they're like oh um i want to share this url with my friends so they can see all the ones with that exact keyword that i searched jetboost will add this query string so you can send that to friends so i like to press yes on that one Press continue. And Chris Spraggs, who creates Jetboost, he likes to go a little bit overboard with his Lottie, with his Lottie animations. So it's like, yay, you're done with the first step. Okay, cool. All right, so now this one is uh, the only code you need to put. You don't have to know, you don't have to know how to code this. You just copy it and paste it into your website. So I'm going to go back to my right there go to my head tag of this page and actually i'm going to rename this um search dash example okay sorry had the sneeze <laughs> okay back and Cool. Okay, cool. Now I have to put that code that I copied, put it in the head tag. So all this does is basically it gets your JetBoost gives your site an ID number, and then it references that in the magical JetBoost plugin thing. So I'm gonna press save, and that part's done. I'm gonna publish it so I can make, so I can make sure that that code is actually out there on the internet. Go back to JetBoost and it tells you to test and continue. So test and continue and no, it's not. Oh, wait, did it wrong. Oh, I have to put it on the full site. Ah. Well, it's not supposed to be on the actual page. It's supposed to be on the whole project. So I'm going to delete that. Go to my project settings, code. Paste it here, save, publish. Wait for it. And go back into the designer, the page I was working on. Test and continue. All right. All right, cool. So here's where it gets a little bit confusing, but I'm happy to help. You mystify it. Okay, so you copy this, right? And you add it to your collection list wrapper. So what you do is you go back to your page. So collection list wrapper, the first one, and you give it a class name of the one that you just copied from JetBoost. So it'll look like this, right? So this is what JetBoost's magical JavaScript file is looking for. Okay, it's saying, hey, find the list wrapper that has this um, special id of qdgq okay so now we go back to jetboost and we're going to copy this now this code and we're going to add it into our collection item do is add an embed oh someone subscribed colin thank you so much welcome then uh we put in that code and there we go so that magical JetBoost JavaScript is looking for the special code here, and then it's also looking for this class name in this, in the collection item. All right, almost done. Now we say, what's the name of the page? It's, um, I think it's store example. Maybe. Oh, search example. So search example. Once that's published, done publishing, yep, I can test and continue. And huzzah! Cool. And now, last, last part. We need to connect that input field. 
So I'm going to copy this and give this a class name, that input field. Then, okay, I have to, I have to publish one more time then test again. It test. Yay! <laughs> Chris. All right. And that's it. It's done. Now, if I go back to this page and test it, let's go ahead and look for, uh, let's look for dog. And EOG, dog. Well, time search. Done. Right? Go yellow. Right there. Delete it. All of them. Grab it. Grab it. Grab it. Ah! Grab it. There we go. Uh, rock. There you go. Hard. L. Go. Super simple. Try out JetBoot. It'll help you unlock more stuff. So, just show you a little preview of how I'm using that. Um, full screen. Hold on, real quick. Wait, wait for it. Wait. There we go. So, look, one part of our community website. So, um, I'm using JetBoost for this, and so check it out. Uh, for categories, I'm using the JetBoost filter. It's like, oh, I only want uh, clonables. There you go. Or I only want forum posts or helpful apps like Happy Hues by McKenzie or just videos or a mix of things. So this is all JetBoost right here. And another cool thing they did was um, you can like things or upvote things. So if I go here, like, hey, I like this one. I'm going to like it. Now it's saved into my member stack account. Amazing. JetBoost working with member stack. So you can take JetBoost really far. So if I go to my member pages, my dashboard, and then I scroll down, here's all my liked tutorials. If I don't like something, I can just click it and it goes away. It's no longer liked. Uh, 